The kidnapping of J.C. Lee Dugard brings to mind the case of Sean Hornbeck. He is the Missouri boy who was kidnapped back in 2002 at the age of 11 and was found four and a half years later living with his captor. I've lived two lives. I had to start over again from when I was kidnapped. That life's gone, so I'm picking up this life again. Joining us now are Sean's parents, Pam and Craig Akers. Good morning to you both. Good morning. morning. I'm so curious to know what Sean's reaction was when he heard about J.C.'s story. Uh, when I, he was originally at school when all the news broke, so when he got home, that was the first thing I had told him. And he actually sat down in a chair and just said, wow, wow. And then he said, you know, Mom, that just goes to prove what you and Dad keep preaching, that there's a lot more of us out there than people realize. Craig, do you think he wants to or would be willing to reach out to her? Um... Gosh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure at this point. Um, he's, he's still kind of fearful of putting himself in the spotlight. He's afraid that once he puts himself there that it's going to be hard to, to back away from it again. Um, but, you know, that is a possibility. It is something we can approach him with. Pam, what advice do you think he would have for J.C. and, and her two daughters? Um, I think most importantly is don't blame yourself. Um, don't feel like you've done anything wrong. Um, none of this is your fault. Um, forgive yourself. Uh, you know, just try to become the person you were before you were abducted. I mean, I know she's 29 years old now, but she can still get connect that connection back with her family. What was it like in the first days when, when Sean was home after being away nearly five years? Because by all accounts, we hear it's just been excruciatingly difficult for JC and those girls. They have psychologists with them around the clock. And it's tough. It is. It's extremely tough. Um, you know, for the victim, Sean says he knew we all had a bunch of questions and just really didn't know how to answer them. And for us, we did have all the questions that the general public and everybody else is having. But, you know, we've learned that you just don't ask them questions, that over time you let the victim be comfortable enough to be able to talk to you when they're ready. And, you know, that can depend on who that person is. Besides that, Craig, do you have any advice that you would offer to J.C.'s mother right now? Uh, it would, first of all, to make sure that J.C. understands that you love her and the children unconditionally, no strings attached. Um, no matter what's went on, it doesn't matter. I love you. I'm here for you. I'll always be here for you. Um, and to take things very, very slow. It's just going to be one little baby step at a time. Um, you can't get to the bottom of this overnight. It took 18 years to get to where they're at. It's definitely going to take some time to recover. Now that you've had Sean back with you for a little over two years, almost three now actually, mm -hmm. how's he doing, Pam? Oh, he's just doing absolutely wonderful. Craig and I have talked often about how amazing if somebody met Sean on the street and didn't know what the ordeal that he had gone through, you would have never, you'd never guess it. I mean, he has just become the typical 18-year-old, and we are just so proud of him. Does he still talk about it at all? He doesn't talk about, you know, the bad things. From time to time, if we're in the area to where he's at, you know, he'll mention, uh, this is where I skateboarded at, or this is where I rode my bike at. But other than that, that's really about all he ever says. Yeah. So you can get back to a normal, would you say 100% normal life, Craig? Absolutely. It is possible. It can happen. It's just going to take time and a lot of love. Um, there, there's no rush. Everyone's going to be there. So take your time and it can happen. What does Sean feel towards his kidnapper now? As far as we know, um, a great deal of disgust, disdain. Um, he's very happy that it will be physically impossible um, for his abductor to ever be out of jail and be in a position to do this to anyone else. Was it always like that, or when you first had him back, did, had he bonded with his captor, Pam? I think he had bonded somewhat with him, only because, you know, he was, he was his shelter, he was his food. Um, he depended on him so much, but once he knew that he was safe and that it was okay to speak honestly about how he felt, all of them feelings went away. They went completely away. It turned more towards mm -hmm. how, you know, you would think he would feel. Sean is such an inspiration, and I'm sure it's a big credit to you and, and your love and guidance. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you're, you. You're welcome.
And we want to let you know that on Saturday, September 12th, you can watch a special edition of 48 Hours, Kidnapped, Sean Hornbeck's Incredible Story.